The Buffalo Bills have a big game this Sunday versus the Miami Dolphins as it's the battle for the AFC East. If the Dolphins win, they should have a two-game lead over our beloved Buffalo Bills. But when the Bills win, we will be the leader in the AFC East. Three things to look for in this game. Three things to look for in this game are, um, first of all, stop Tyreek Hill. I think he's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. He is super, super fast. And um, whenever you face the Miami Dolphins or a team of Tyreek Hill, you've got to focus on shutting him down. Now, you can't focus way all that much because they've also got Jalen Waddle, who's another very, very good wide receiver. But we'll see before the game how they decide to, to attack that situation because last year, Elam played Waddle, in a, or not Waddle, he played uh, Hill in sort of a man-to-man -man situation and, and really helped shut him down because he's got the speed. But um, will we know before the game if Elam is activated for this game to do to try to do just that or if they'll keep him inactive, inactive because um, they want to stay with what's been working? And, and White and Benford has been working in Jackson. And um, as I have, have said in several videos, I think White is one of the best corners in the league. And Benford, Jackson, and Elam are all very good corners. All of them. So I don't care who gets to play in that situation because they're all good. And uh, we'll see how the Buffalo Bills decide to attack that before the game. The second thing you have to worry about with the Miami Dolphins is now a running game. As Mostert is a really good running back. And now they've got the kid out of Texas A&M in A-Chain. And A-Chain um, is a really good receiver out of the... They're both really good receivers out of the backfield and good running backs. So... We'll have to look how to shut that down as well with our defense, which the Bills have done pr pretty good at that over the last couple of weeks, shutting down um, the Raiders and the Commanders running backs. Now, um, the third thing to look for is, unfortunately, there's a couple of injuries in this game. One to the Buffalo Bills that's really bad, Jordan Poyer. And I think Jordan Poyer is part of the best safety duo in the NFL with Poyer and Hyde here. And um, we don't have any game <laughs> to lose one of your starting safeties. It's not a good game to be. And Tyreek Hill is is coming into town and Jalen Waddle. So, yeah, the Bills will have a lot of work to do there trying to replace Poyer and what he brings to the team. Now, um, Taylor Rapp will probably get the start. And Taylor is has been a starter in this league and has a Super Bowl ring to show for it. But... Um, he will probably get the start alongside of Hyde. And I also think that this man here, DeMar Hamlin, will probably be activated for this week or will not be inactivated for the week. So um, DeMar will get some playing time as well this week as we try to replace Jordan Poyer, which is very, very, very difficult to do. And um, But the Dolphins have a problem of their own on, on the injury reserve is Jalen Phillips, <clears throat> one of their best pass rushers. I think he led their team in sacks last year, is not able to go in this one. So um, we'll see how the Dolphins defense is affected by the loss of a, a really good pass rusher in Jalen Phillips. This is, again, a very big game. And it, it, it's going to be for several years when the, the Bills and the Dolphins face off. It's here in Buffalo. Tyreek Hills came out and said this week that he doesn't see any difference in the Buffalo crowd to any other crowd when they go to a road game. Well, he's wrong about that. Bill's Mafia is going to be in the house. I will be in the house. And as I am for every Buffalo Bills home game. And I'm looking forward to making a lot of noise when uh, Tyreek and their offense is on the field and um, trying to affect the game. So, again, big game, big game. If you're able to make it, be there. We need the Bills Mafia out in full, full force. So, with that, I say go Bills. And remember, God loves you. And so do I.